when the ball like goes down the ramp, like if the distance sensor senses that it's less than this distance, the keeper's leg will kick the ball back. So the servo here, it's making the legs kick, and this distance sensor is how it's how it senses when it, when to kick, and the rotary sensor here is to is just to control the movement from left to right. One of the most challenging part in building this robot was to make the goalie go straight and follow a straight path. So we had to make a rail below to carry it in a diagonal line. The rail consists of two pieces of plastic that pushes on the wheels to make it move straight. And also on the top part, we also cut a small slit to move the player in the correct direction. So this is the code for the goalie game that we made. Basically everything is mostly controlled by the rotary sensor and the code for it is here and it's so if it will change the, the speed to be positive or negative so that the goalie will move left or right and once it reaches a certain degree in the center then it will stop so that it doesn't keep moving forever. Also here we have some status things just to see if the distance sensor or the goalie is moving because at first we needed to troubleshoot some things. And also another important part is that if the, ball, if the distance sensor detects a change then it will make the goalie kick because that means that something's moving past it which is probably the ball so that it has to kick.